Position Gary Bell defensively on the pick and roll. Man jump top side a little too soon. Take what the defense gives you, attack the rim. Rockamore inside right at Dower and a blocking foul called as Dower tried to get out of the way of it, but Rockamore wouldn't let him. Hey guys, 4,907 people in this building tonight. This is the most fans in the Levy Center in Santa Clara's basketball history. How about that? Students aren't even in session. Yeah, great effort. And the student section nearly entirely full for Santa Clara. You talked about it, Dan, early. And the students making that effort, coming back early to campus to be here today. It just goes to show you that the entire community here at Santa Clara understood how important this ball game is, even though we're only two games now into the West Coast Conference schedule. Well, they had a great win against their kind of geographical rival USF the other night, but if they could get off to a 2-0 start in league, that would be huge. As we hit the 10-minute mark, and here's an offensive foul away from the ball. This is on Dower. So Sam Dower picks up his third. Does like five team fouls on Gonzaga. Doesn't like it, but that's the right call. He's using his hands to try to clear out Rockamore instead of using his body. Easy call for the officials. But just have some patience. Let the ball swing, and then, yeah, like let's, you said, yeah. use your body to seal and get the proper angle on it. Then it's an easy bucket. Trust your teammates to bring you the ball. Exactly. There's Trasolini. You got to figure Santa Clara's got another run in them yet. Yeah, this two-three zone for GU is called to, giving Santa Clara fits. Rockamore left hand won't get the roll. Rebounded by MacArthur. He missed it. And look who grabbed it. It's Stockton. Clark trying to take it away. And Gonzaga now into their half court set. Dower setting the screen. Bell into the paint. Needs help. Got away with a travel possibly. Lost the handle. Now he's on the floor and calls a timeout. Wow, it looked like he got away with a travel on one more wow. than one part of that <laughs> possession. There's no. There's no maybe about it. I think if you're Kerry Keating and his staff. It actually took place right before that shot you're seeing, folks. But then he dove on the ball and rolled. Yeah. Gonzaga just six turnovers in this game. Just seven turnovers for Santa Clara. It's been a really clean game. Gonzaga shooting 69% from the floor this half. 60 for the game. It's not like Santa Clara is not shooting it well either. 43% for the game, 43.8 this half. Both teams have been very good offensively. You know, Richard mentioned a minute ago this kind of zone that Gonzaga's thrown out at Santa Clara the last four or five minutes or so has really created problems. Santa Clara's got to look to attack that a little bit more and get Kevin Foster moving on the baseline, get him the ball in different spots. Olenek leading the way with 23 points. <laughs> so 38 to 20 in the paint for GU. You know, he said that'd be the story coming in. How did Santa Clara match up with Olenek and Harris? So far, they've had a tough time. There's Dower from Olenek. Powers took it away. Guys, it's been several minutes since Foster has scored a bucket. Santa Clara needs to get him back in the flow. Here's Clark. Spins and shoots. Missed it. Tipped out of there. Trasolini with it. Great space and scores. Trasolini now with 15. Well, offensively, if you're a shooter and the other team goes zone, you can't just stand. You've got to find gaps. You've got to run the baseline. And Foster really hasn't done that these last few possessions. Dowell's almost took that away from Stockton. Then he lobs it up to Dowell. who's blocked by Trasolini, but a foul call. Trasolini picks up his third personal foul. And that is the seventh team foul, I believe, on Santa Clara. Yes, it is. You know, I think he got it clean up top. Let's take a look, folks. Excellent pass over the top from Stockton. Gets it clean up top. You know, that looked clean uh, initially. And you'd like to see that go with just so much contact. Dower hits the ground. It's hard for the official not to blow his whistle. So Gonzaga into the bonus with 8.31 to play. Dower six points, three rebounds. Hart and Harris will check back in here momentarily for Gonzaga. As Yannick Atanga coming in right now. Hart's in right now for Gary Bell. Harris will be replacing Sandauer. 
getting themselves to the free throw line has always been a strength of Gonzaga's program. And this year, it's no different with the four bigs that they have. On the year, they've made more free throws than their opponents have attempted. That shows you that they're attacking, putting foul pressure, playing with force. Dower out with eight points, three rebounds. Harris is in with 14 points, one rebound. Fans of Santa Clara now trying to give their team some energy. Ten point game. Clark shot is off. And here's a foul inside. This will be on Gonzaga. And they believe they gave it to Kevin Pangos. That's his first. And that's six on Gonzaga. Clark's doing the right thing against this zone defense. Trying to attack, get into the paint, make them collapse. Create opportunities for yourself or teammates. Gasolini inside. He'll shoot free throws. This foul will be on Olenek. Excellent. Out of bounds play. You get Trasolini on the move. Yeah, he's great at that. Good athlete. Can score over either shoulder. And how about this second half? Five points there in the first half. Now 15 points for the game. He has come out in a big way here in the second half. Two personals on Olenek. Both teams into the bonus now. Trasolini hits the front end. Guys, Santa Clara not scoring with as much ease as they did in that first half. Gonzaga's defense getting better, or are they just missing shots? Well, that zone is just giving them problems. Everything has been on the perimeter, and Santa Clara will send a big up for a ball screen. They haven't gotten any touches in that short corner area on the baseline or that high post with one of their bigs. And as a result, they've taken a lot of jump shots, and that allows GU to really help on Foster. Anytime he catches it, there's more than just one man around him. Here's Stockton. Trying to create some space. Good drive. And Foster takes it away. Not enough movement there on Zach's offense. Foster behind the back, jump shot, rattles out. Stocked in the rebound, but a foul call here on Elias Harris. Yannick Atanga there. Great job going to the offensive glass. 7.45 to play. Gonzaga leading Santa Clara. Seven forty five to play Santa Clara hanging around on their home floor here at the Levy Center against number 10 Gonzaga and guys Mark Crasolini has come alive. He's woken up after a slow first half 12.6 rebounds on five of nine shooting here in the second half and it started early for him off an offensive rebound and in transition. Uh, he's gotten it done in a variety of different ways and just a lot of effort. Gonzaga's had their hands full with him and it's provided some balance for Santa Clara. And the big three for Santa Clara, the three 1,000 point scorers. Rockamore has not been able to get on track offensively tonight with five points. Trasolini, the big second half. It's Kevin Foster right now, guys, that has not scored a field goal since the 1826 mark, better almost 11 minutes ago. They need him. They're going to need points down the stretch. They definitely need him. Gonzaga has done a great job of keying on him in the zone. But Kevin Foster also has to do a much better job of searching shots. And but what, by what I mean by that is finding open areas, maybe running the baseline, finding gaps in the zone that, hey, you get a quick catch and shoot, knock that thing down, get yourself going again. Matanga at the free throw line, a 44% free throw shooter. And he misses. Olenek the rebound. Trasolini for Santa Clara also. Two rebounds away from his 10th career double-double. He's on the bench right now for Santa Clara. He won't be there long, though. 15 on the shot clock. Stockton drives. Olenek with the pin. And Stockton's shot won't fall. It goes out of bounds. Possession staying with GU. Santa Clara right now wants an offensive interference after Olenek was looking to tip the ball. The ball was still above the cylinder and his hand touched the backboard and moved the backboard. You know, that should have been an offensive interference call. That was a great seal by Olenek there. Shot inside, no good. Goes out of bounds again. This time it belongs to Santa Clara. 
Guys, if you're Kerry Keating, do you set something off offensively now to get Foster going? Well, I'm sure coming out of this timeout, they're going to have something drawn up uh, for Foster. I mean, he's been quiet like we've just mentioned. They know that Gonzaga's been in his zone. They're probably expecting him to be in his zone for one or two more possessions here. Clark against Stockton. Stockton almost took it away right there. Out to Foster. Gonzaga showed zone, but really was in man there. Gasolini sets the screen. Foster into the paint. Runner good. His first field goal since 1826 of this half. He's got 25. He is so good at splitting that double team off that pick. He's got to show early if you're GU. Gonzaga basketball fans don't like it. Tell you what, Santa Clara is picking up their defensive intensity right now. David Stockton can't be careless with the ball like that up top. Well, Santa, Clara, Santa Clara's got a sense that this is the time. If we're going to make a run at him, this is the time. And it's going to start defensively for them. Not a lot of easy buckets off their defense so far tonight. They'd love to get a few fast break opportunities.